Hey everyone, this is Ashley with Evans Behavioral Services. Welcome back. I don't know about, about all of you, but it has been a crazy week for me. So um, I did want to make sure that I dropped uh, another video on my BCBA task list study prep series here. We are going to continue talking about section A, those philosophical underpinnings. Today is A-3, radical behaviorism. Um, so just a Brief overview or reminder, philosophical underpinnings, those are those building blocks, um, all the you know scientific backing and things like that, dimensions of ABA, philosophical assumptions that we use to guide our practice. Um, like I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about the perspective of radical behaviorism. So radical behaviorism, of course, was founded by B.F. Skinner. This um, is contrasted with the metho methodological behaviorism, which didn't consider private events behaviors. Um, but B.F. Skinner did. He had acknowledged under radical behaviorism that private events are behavior. Um, internal events share the same characteristics as outward behavior. Um, one thing, though, is that acknowledging private events means we understand that, that those events can make environmental stimuli more or less valuable. valuable. But we wouldn't make the assumption that um, that those private events caused behavior. So we wouldn't say, um, you know, my client hit me because he was mad. Um, he might have been mad. I don't know because I, you know, I, there's no way to objectively measure that unless he were to say I'm mad. Um, but we wouldn't say that, that that caused the behavior. Rather, we would um, acknowledge that that feeling made environmental stimuli more or less valuable. Um, so some examples of private events, emotions, thoughts, feelings. So like feeling sad, thinking about your study plan, those are all um, private events that we would consider behavior, but would not refer to as causing behavior, um, causing like additional behaviors. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a very brief overview of radical behaviorism. Let's jump into a mark question to um, get an idea of if we are understanding this. So your client engages in escape from a task. He expresses frustration with the difficulty of the task. So it's a difficult task that he is escaping from. Under the perspective of radical behaviorism, feelings are behaviors. In this example, what does his frustration tell us? Does it tell us that frustration caused the behavior? Frustration made escaping the task more valuable? Frustration is never a behavior. Or we can't say we're behavior analysts and we don't consider feelings in our practice. Well, right off the bat, I'm going to eliminate that last one. Um, as behavior analysts, we, as we just talked about, do understand and recognize that under radical behaviorism, that feelings are behavior. Um, so we can eliminate that one right off the bat. And similarly, we can eliminate frustration is never a behavior. Because as we just said, um, frustration is an internal event that is a behavior. Um, we just can't directly measure it. Um, next, let's eliminate A, frustration caused the behavior. So um, in behavior analysis, there are four functions of behavior, attention, escape, um, automatic, and access to tangibles. Um, so we wouldn't say that frustration or an emotion caused a behavior. Um, uh, one of those functions would be the function of the behavior, um, but rather that leaves us with B, frustration made escaping the task more valuable. So he was frustrated with how difficult the task was. That frustration made it more valuable to escape the task than to continue working on the task. Um, so that's what, under that perspective of radical behaviorism, what that frustration would indicate or would um, help us to understand. Um, I hope that made sense. Please let me know if it doesn't. I'm happy to you know, provide additional um, examples and help you work through any uh, thoughts with this radical behaviorism topic. Uh, this is a pretty brief uh, <laughs> overview. Um, but like I said, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and thank you. Please subscribe to keep following my task list breakdown videos. I will have another one out next week, if not sooner. All right. Thank you. Bye, guys.